And will you please? You look like you've got a really good tan. Yeah, good perm, too. Yeah. Yeah, people always ask me if that's. I get asked a lot if uh, if I if my hair is really that curly. I just tell them, yeah, it comes out of the, came out of the box that way. <laughs> so do like fans come up to you after the show and feel your hair? Yeah, occasionally. We should probably introduce ourselves so people know our voices. I'm this is Steve. No, that's Al singing. <laughs> no, it's me talking. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. you were talking while I was singing. I'm Joe, playing the fiddle and talking. <laughs> You're a talented guy. I'm, <laughs> I'm Al, that's me on the screen. I'm playing the bass, I'm singing, I'm talking. Look at me, I can juggle, I can dance. Sorry. We really did start with this song, didn't we? This was the actual, wasn't it? I think that's the way the, the yeah, the, way the it, evening actually began. You mean there could be things on this tape that are not the way we did them that night? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think the the song order on the on the DVD here is actually truer to what actually went down in the concert. Because on the on the CD we did a fair bit of resequencing. Like we started with uh, C chords on the CD, yeah, yeah, which wasn't the first song uh, any of the nights that we that we actually recorded. No, it's true. Although Ashton loves that, he thinks it's a good way to start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have we introduced Ashton? Uh, we haven't. Uh, no. If you get a, a shot of the bass at any point during this, you'll see a couple of little dimples in the top of it. Uh, Ashton uh, put those in it. Ashton is my two-year-old. I love him so much that I didn't kill him for <laughs> damaging my bass. <laughs> does he have dimples too? <laughs> no, he does. He now. does. <laughs> He's, yeah, desperately cute. Speaking of desperately cute, there's Look, Terry. There's Terry. Yeah. <laughs> Terry always looks really good on stage, doesn't he? He's always, he's al always moving, and he always looks so. I think he's just getting the hair out of his face mostly. <laughs> yeah, he's had another year to grow it since then too. His hair's getting really long. It's starting to rival mine. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something about it. Mm. As in, grow some more. So you could do that. Or you cut keep, his off. You keep trimming yours. That's the problem. Look at the. Look at the set behind us, you know, in the, in the still photos. When I saw the still photos when we, when we recorded, I thought that was going to look awful. Is it in the... Um, and, and, and you're the, right, yeah. it did. Yeah, <laughs> how right you were. In but the stills. It's, it, it's not so bad here, though, is it? Like, it's because there's different depth of focus and because we're moving. Yeah, I think the, what? yeah keeps the focus in the front. Why did we have that set? <laughs> well, Does anybody know? Well, there was a play or something, or there had been a play the, the, at the Transact, yeah, just, and there, there wasn't time to take it down. And yeah. there really isn't any at the Transact. There really isn't any kind of curtaining or anything behind it. It was it was going to be either that or just a bare wall. And given that I think there were, it was a while ago. I just forget, but I think there was there was some kind of time constraint issue. So we decided to use the set and just try and um, just try and make it work. It were, but I, I think it works a lot better in here than, I, than certainly that it did in the still photos. Because in the still photos, it just looked cluttery. Remember the time Al, we were down east, and Al had a shirt that matched some curtains on the <laughs> set or something? Or something? At um, the Lunenburg Opera yeah. House. Lunenburg, yeah. 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 The curtains down in the green room were exactly the same as his shirt. <laughs> yeah. So so we came out to do an encore. The, the guy sent me out first, and... Uh, I went out and played the day the bass players took over the world, and then they came out at the end of the song, and and I Carrying think it was this Joe <laughs> it was was wrapped in this curtain from downstairs. <laughs> it was exactly the color of my shirt. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I could hear the voice of Jim whisper in my ear. Maybe it was Sally saying, "Who's the captain here?" The tough yeah. is your ship. And you're but sure we had another had email about uh, some kid who had misinterpreted the lyrics of this and thought he, it was. He thought it was Jim. <laughs> Heard the voice Heard of the Jim. the voice of yeah. Jim. <laughs> well, that's that's the kid's version anyway. You it, know, it's, when, it's, it's remember true. when that's, we do school shows, that, that's what we have to say. <laughs> that's right. It's probably the same kid who thought it was uh, 
what was it? Dollar uh, tar, bill. Uh, tar on our uh, tar on our pigtails and mud on our reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a kid who asked, who is Boo in, uh, for Dollar, dollar bill. bill? Boo's on the run. Boo's yeah. on the run. <laughs> oh, dramatic ending. This rock is all down to, to um, Steve. That was always one of my, it's still one of my favorite songs to play of all our songs. Really, it's a song I always really feel like I get my teeth into. There's Steve and Elizabeth yeah. from Bedford. This is a couple. Do you remember they? Do you remember that time we played in Rochester? Yes. And and one of them had a birthday, and it, it was, was his his 50th birthday. So and she, she brought, brought him over for the weekend. Yeah. They, yeah. they flew to Rochester from Bedford, England, to Rochester, New York, to a concert, and then flew home. Unbelievable. They put up with American beer just to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got to go shopping at a big mall. Oh, yeah. I bet that was really exciting. Frame, is your hair really that curly? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you do have good hair. <laughs> that was a good hair day. I wonder what day this was. This was Saturday, I think. Do your kids like your hair, Steve? I mean, do, how, how do they feel about it? Oh, I think so. But Connor's wanting to grow yeah, his Connor, hair. Yeah, Connor, right? yeah. Your yeah. little guy. Yeah. Like, are you going to be disappointed if they don't grow their hair? Or... <laughs> well, I'm going to try not to have those kinds of expectations. <laughs> you short-haired weirdo. Why don't you go get a hair grow? You know, I keep watching to see if you can see parts where people forget words, but... Well, actually, we talked over a part where I forgot words here. Because I, 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 he used to be, uh, in the first verse, they need to be persistent, they need to be set loose, they need to use the tactics they perfected on the Bruce. I sang, they need to use the captain they perfected on the Bruce. Oh. <laughs> yeah. On one of the nights, anyway. <laughs> look at Terry! <laughs> Having a cuddle. He doesn't, yeah. <laughs> See, that's a that's a move that's completely gone from the show. That's I, that's that's I right. It. Yeah, well, I miss the the back rub, you know, <laughs> and the sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was listening to the new fiddle player play this last night, and it's interesting that he does that. Instead of da da da, he goes da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. But I like it. Yeah, it's kind of an elaboration on. Yeah, there's an extra note in it. There are Led Zeppelin power chords there. This is the whole lot of love segment. Yeah, only we keep it under 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they could. Well, if I work up any more of a sweat, the fiddle just squirts out of my hand. It just, it just... There's my brother. Out into the audience, you know? Sitting beside Chris Hadfield. That's why you need a bigger fiddle. You need one that stands on the floor. Steel blades and forwards free to roam. Earl Myers Rester found the strings behind Malone. Then Billy Bean flew through the air as a tying shot was fired. But Mabel, that was nothing to the scene that next transpired. Ashley screamed the battle cry and Simmy led the surge. Just in case he was forgetting the words, he thought he'd help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a good boot shot. Mm. It's in time and everything. That's good, Al. You can oh, do that. You can do that. Probably done in the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fix it in the mix. They passed on for more. They wanted to show them the boys knew the score. The defensemen were steady. The wings they played a wide. They charged as one into the break. I remember where we did the. The musical arrangement for this song was in J.C. Bedford's living room in England. Where that right? It's the first time Rob showed me the song. It was, it must have been the first time we were ever over there. And he said, here, I want to show you this. And 
Well, he had showed it to me sometime before and I actually had a different fiddle part all worked out and then I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The endings are great, you know. Doesn't uh, matter as long as you have a strong ending. You that's right. Won't you come and fix the radio? <laughs> radio man, won't you come and fix Are we out of pee? Are, are they? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Dad was a farmer. He used to sing off key. First thing I'd done when he gave the farm to me, I bought a Dreadnought series. Three band dial, Queen Mary model in the lake. Well, I was surprised. This is, uh, this is a song people ask for a lot in England. <clears throat> and I suppose if, if it surprises me in any way, it's just because there's so many internal Canadian references, like that, that you know, like Don Messer and. And Dion Foster Quince. and Foster Hewitt and the Dion Quints, you know. And now, do we ever get, you know, farmer kind of people coming up to us and saying, "Oh yeah, I had a radio in my barn." I, it, yeah, not yet, or not not me anyway. No, I, I yeah. Um, but I'm they all do. Where I mean, we were, yeah. Because somebody, somebody said. Yeah, the, she had lived on a dairy farm, and and they had a had a radio in the barn well, the, all the time. The, well, the guy up the road from from uh, mom and dad's who has had dairy quota forever, he always has a radio on. And now I don't think he leaves it on all night, but he leaves it on. Um, it's it's on certainly for the evening anyway. I think he shuts it off like at night when he turns the lights off. But okay, girls, time but, to go to bed. But apparently, yeah, apparently it's a uh, you know. It's a common practice. Did they ever tell you where I got the idea of like the dial getting stuck? No. I was I was driving my car. I was going from Peterborough to Toronto, and I spilled coffee on my car radio, and the the dial got stuck on a 24-hour polka station from Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Walter Rostenak all day and all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> That'd be hell. <laughs> what fun! So did you did you get it fixed or did you just after put about up with well it? after about four months of polka uh, it eventually started giving me other stations <laughs> like one at a time. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of first worked. it gave you Walsh and yeah, then it gave you March. <laughs> CBC was sort of the last thing. That yeah, of course. Yielded up. Good mice there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> now, the real radio man is my cousin's. Yeah, he's a real guy. Yeah, but yeah. He actually lived near Mild May, though, didn't he? Holst yeah. Holstein was uh, artistic license. And he, and yes. But he used Geographic to. Geographic license. To, apparently, yeah. he used to have cows in his living room. <laughs> like, he used to watch TV and put his feet up on a cow. <laughs> oh, he was, yeah, but, he was this real eccentric old but, guy. But, but we couldn't put all that in the song. I thought that'll be, uh, you know, Radio Man 2. Two. Yeah. <laughs> the return of Radio Man. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the living room. <laughs> Come and fix my radio. The only thing that really disappoints me about, about this song is that there's there's nowhere in it where my hands are free so I can grab my beard and pull on it like the guys do in Oh Brother Where Art Now. Because you know, I always want to do that. Well, I wish you'd have told me that, Al, at the time. I'd have gladly pulled your beard. <laughs> No, I think that's probably better done by myself. You can have a little foot pedal, you know, with a string tied to your beard. I'll be all over that one. <laughs> what a bunch of rat bags. <laughs> it's funny. That has that has become considerably sweeter over over time. And yeah, it but probably it, sounds now a little more like the Dion Quince. Like Quince's the Dion Quince. What a disappointment. <laughs> Pretty <man>. husky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Al, I, I love the way you sing with such passion, even when it's something totally silly. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw yourself into it. 
Watch Brian. He's got he's got that real sort of backwards bounce to him there. Yep. Behind the piano. Yeah. Brian's really visual for a piano player, isn't he? Yeah, he's really, true. Yeah. He's yeah. he's so intense. He's really into it. Too damn good looking too. Need I some know. scars. Or just turn off the lights on that side of the stage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who does the cow now? Who did the well, cow last night? I did the cow last night. It's because a little girl came up to me at the show a couple nights ago and said, you don't do the cow anymore, because I hadn't done it for a while. And she said, you need to do the cow, so I did. I felt I was quite intimidated. Yeah, that's, that came directly from the Brooks family. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, is that well? Yeah. That seems only fair. I mean, if they'll travel thousands of kilometers to come to see us in Sault Ste. Marie in Ithaca, New York. You don't do the cow. Yeah, you do it. When there's a big North Atlantic gale, they get all of it. And what they used to like to do was when it would storm. They say, they no. say uh, the camera adds 30 pounds. I thought it was that the camera subtracted 30 pounds, so I went and gained 30 pounds before we did this. You know? <laughs> it adds 30 pounds of hair. That's yeah. what <laughs> I wonder what your hair actually does weigh. <laughs> His? Like, like, would you feel lightheaded if you got a haircut? You know? No, but he'd lose all his strength. He wouldn't well, be able to pick up any chocolate. Anymore. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to. <laughs> wouldn't be able to pull the theater down by a pillar. Or, yeah. you know. <laughs> An old woman sold me a story. This is a, a, a as the the rhythm guitarist of the band. This is one of my favorite songs to do because I actually get to play something besides waka 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 waka. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. <laughs> I, actually, wank, wank. I actually get to play a part. I thought you were supposed to play waka waka waka. <laughs> well, you usually <laughs> just came not out here. that way. <laughs> look, it looks like I'm faking it, but I'm not. I'm actually playing it. No, we replaced all your parts. Oh. <laughs> we brought in Dave McIsaac. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I was playing. <laughs> you were, but you weren't playing what you thought you were playing. <laughs> As the bass player, let me say, there are too damn many F sharps in this song. Mm -hmm. Man, this just hurts my hand. Yeah, and they're all they're all like tied whole notes. Yeah. Too, yeah. So. <laughs> Nothing worse than a flat sharp. <laughs> That's what I've never said. <laughs> she was a worker at the fish plant. After we mix this, you know, Paul Mills was saying to me, you know, he, he says, in my studio, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on microphones and thousands and thousands of dollars on preamps. And he says, look at the sound we got out of be oh, beta 58s and going straight into the Neve preamps out in the truck. And he said, you know, like, yeah, like it's a it's a it's a really nice crisp vocal sound from a This is engineer talk. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, he was he was quite surprised. And that's and uh, the reason we did it is because that's what Danny Greenspoon, who owned the truck, said that's what he recommended. Is that right? Yeah. Well, and probably good for us because that's the kind of mics that we use all the time. The kind of mics we're used to so. using, yeah. I know, if you got into those big, large diaphragm condenser mics, you wouldn't know what to do. Plus, no. they'd block out all our faces. Yeah, but, and they intimidate well, that might not be you so too, bad. No. <laughs> Would hide a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my best feature. Speaking of hair, Yes. Like, Terry's got a lot more hair now, doesn't he? He does. Like, everybody's got a lot of more hair except me, but... <laughs> except, well, except Brian. Yeah, he's, he, he keeps his pretty moderate. Say. Well, I think there should be one guy that's sort of grounded in reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let me see. We None of a, us would do this. We have a five-piece folk band. Do you think there's any connection to reality? When love is still perfect and new, their spirits were Some of your best moments, Hal, are when you don't play. Do you notice that? Like, <laughs> strategic rests. 
Yeah, those notes are easy to pitch correct. <laughs> <laughs> a woman in England once told me that. She, she said, uh, she said she, what she really liked about my playing was when I was waiting to play. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure how to take that. <laughs> but the music is in the spaces yeah. between yes. the notes. Yeah, yes, right. art, well, art is knowing what to leave out. And uh, if less is more, then none is best. <laughs> none is everything. <laughs> none is all. None is all. How did you hear that? You stopped playing. It was really good. That's right. Well, and those stopped. guys kept playing. Yeah, so we did our little doodle, 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 doodle. He puts his arms around My love lie close to me. I love thinking of this beautiful bucolic song about you know nature and and that that and you you wrote this like in, in a high, high rise, rise. 50, 50 floors up didn't yeah you? closer 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 but actually as i was writing this song a very similar event was taking place in peggy's cove yeah that was the day that that yeah. uh that and i didn't know it yeah a guy got swept off the rock in peggy's cove it was that same day yeah Oh, yes, I've got a wonderful story about the violin. Hey, Martha. And, uh, <laughs> uh, when he was just a little wee fellow, about, I would say, two and a half, I got him a little violin about this long. It was metal. And, of course, at that time, I used to play for square dancing. And my father did the calling. And, of course... Did your mom play down on her arm, too? No, but my grandpa did. And yeah. Yeah. would always ask... A lot of the old timers did. Just to see him run. He'd run for to get did it come out of like playing, violin. like sitting? Well, yeah, like if you've been chopping trees all day, <laughs> you don't want to stand you didn't up want there. to <laughs> hold the thing up under your chin all night. No. And they used to play till, you know, dawn. Mm. Square dance wasn't really worthwhile unless you played till sunup. Yeah. Beware of the insane fire. <laughs> Remember when we were arranging this song, there were all these huge arguments about, I mean, you wrote it, yeah. but we had, there were like five different opinions of what the time signature what the time was. Well, there are <laughs> actually five different time signatures in it. Well, well that's yeah, true, too. There are five players. So nobody can really definitively say it's in one 5-4 or 3-4. Or... I remember getting an argument with Paul, Paul Mills, uh, when we were recording this, uh, no, actually, after we recorded it, about which was the downbeat and which was the pickup <laughs> beat. <laughs> it's all upbeat. Because <laughs> <laughs> Rob, this is on Agnes, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and Rob played. I asked Rob, Rob, so how do you count it? And he says, 